going to talk, oh well. Right. <laughs> I've used my torch because I can't see a thing down here. Oh shit, what I walk into. Stroke engine. Um, yeah, there's three main problems you can get with these engines. First one is yeah. So I'm shaking a little bit. I'm cold. <laughs> it's freezing out here. Um, the three main problems are simply stale fuel, buggered carbs, or there's dirty carbs, uh, dirty carbs like it is on any small engine. And uh, clogged exhausts. That's basically it. Um, that's if your engine doesn't do anything at all when you pull the pull start, doesn't fire or pop, stick a bit of fuel in here or start a fluid, pull it, and if it starts and runs, you know that it's got. Oh. Yeah, if it starts. <sighs> If it starts, runs and dies, you know that you've got a clogged carb. If it starts real easy, and but it doesn't have any power, you've got a clogged exhaust. And that's really all you need to know. Oh, if, it, there's another, if it doesn't have any spark, that'll be another reason it doesn't start. So that's that. But that's not what I've now just, just, now I've just decided. That's not what this video is going to be about. out here this late making a video just because the one I made earlier was 13 minutes long this one I've got all of about 10 minutes to make right nearly got all the parts just need to do more right this is a um, chainsaw car this is just a normal little two stroke carb off something that would be like on a leaf blower or something like that. Um, this one actually came off of a trimmer. So here we've got the chainsaw carb. I'm just going to basically go over everything, give you some, well, a tip in any way. Right, to start off with, you got your mixture screws. And on chainsaws, just about all of them will have. Um, an adjustment. It won't even be an emissions one, just about every chainsaw has one like that. And they'll have three lines. You have a, a fuel input line, a fuel output, like prime line, and a oil line. If you ever use a chainsaw engine for something that isn't a chainsaw, so you don't need the oil system one anymore, this little one block it up because otherwise you'll lose crankcase compression out of it not much but a little bit just block it off um you should choke Ugh. there and I'm not I was going to take it apart and show you it all but I'm not going to bother when you have one of these cars which works but you so if you get a new one and it works and you just want to give it a clean out inside don't the chances are, once you take it apart, they have a lot of dirt on the outside and that, no matter what you do to prevent it, once you take that apart, you're going to need to replace something inside, like 
a diaphragm. This one needs the big diaphragm at the back, the um, small plastic diaphragm which is in here. That one there's good, but the one here is wrinkled. Um, <sighs> sorry. Right, using this one, I'll kind of show you how the fuel system works. What actually happens is that little hole there, while the engine is running, pressure from your crankcase is pushed through that hole, comes out through this hole here, which goes into this thing, which then redirects the air to that circle in the middle that pushes a little piece of plastic up and down while the engine is running and those two holes, one's an input and one's an output and all it does is it pumps the fuel just a little bit like a foot pump for uh, your bike well, a little bit like a compressor, compressor piston goes up and down, two little valves in there one takes air in, one pushes the air into your tank it's the same one here, just a lot, 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 lot smaller that's really about it, that's all there is to know. Um, if you get a carb which has one mixture screw and one like cap looking thing, like that, see that one there is where the mixture screw would be, that's a little cap, that's an emissions carb, there's nothing you can do to change that. And if you get a carb which has got one screw and this like block, that isn't just so you can't adjust the screwdriver so you think if you put a pair of um, vice grips on there and try and turn it you think that might work it won't it'll just spin and when you pull it out you're going to wreck the carb completely never mess around with that thing uh, that's about it if you've just got the plastic things which kind of here which you've got like the flathead and that on the top so you can try and move it with the screwdriver but they won't turn because they're kind of hitting each other and they just don't adjust enough. Grab your pliers, just your nose point pliers, just like this, and take them off. Won't do it any harm, and you're going to get some more power out of it. So that's that, and I'll see you guys later.